Okay. We're going to take a few minutes uh, to discuss uh, this BiPAP unit um, that we have here. It's a BiPAP with AVAPS uh, a unit for home use primarily. Uh, typically for, for the patients that would be using this would be non-invasively in the home. However, uh, we are going to demonstrate today um, how to um, set it up in a clinical situation for an invasive patient. Uh, and it, and it, is, it, it is possible to do that. Um, so the first things we're going to talk about are how to get into the, to the menu uh, and, and make some changes, just some very basic standard settings, if you will. Uh, so right here, we're at, the, we're at our therapy um, uh, choice on the, on the menu. And we're going to let the light adjust so we can see that. Um, so now I'm going to push the, the main button here once I toggle over to setup. And as you can see, we go to mode ST, that is what we want. With AVAPS, yes, we want that on. To make a change, we would push the button, it'll toggle over and then toggle back. Um, we're going to let the light adjust a little bit more. Uh, here's our title volume setting. Again, just a standard 500. We have an IPAP max of 30. We're going to utilize all the technology that we can for this demonstration. Uh, IPAP minimum would be a standard of 12. You, that would adjust per the script, whatever the doc ordered, obviously. Here's our EPAP. To make a change to the EPAP, which is the equivalent of PEEP, we will push the button. It toggles over to the number. We select it. We can go up or down, obviously. We're going we're gonna to keep it at 5. So I'm going to toggle back, select that, and that's fine. Breath per minute, so here's our breath rate. We're gonna, we're gonna select that. I'm gonna keep it at 12. So we're gonna push, toggle back, that's fine. Uh, and go down, these are our eye time and then other assorted settings, rise time is on. Uh, that, the, the, the settings that we've already made, that those are all we were gonna make at this point for the sake of demonstration. I'm gonna keep going down until we get to the back option. And once we do that, I will select that option, it will take us back in the menu. Here we are at therapy, I will select therapy. At this point, the machine will turn on. I'm also going to hit the button one more time so that we can get another option. For all of us uh, clinical people that wanna monitor certain parameters, I'm gonna go down to info, select, select monitor, and now we've got our uh, water pressure uh, setting our uh, rate, minute ventilation, um, tidal volume um, for us to be able to monitor in that window. We're going to back off of the monitor window at this time. Now, obviously, we, we had to be somewhat creative in, in our circuit uh, to be able to set this up on an invasively ventilated patient. Uh, so with that being said, I'm going to, to demonstrate what we have in, in, in line, and it's what we would call a passive circuit. So we have a bacteria filter, a passive six foot uh, bi BiPAP, CPAP circuit standard with an exhalation port here. Some would call this a whisper swivel, uh, but for anybody who doesn't know what a whisper swivel is, it is just a standard exhalation uh, device in line. This is an HME, heat moisture exchanger for the patient. Uh, that connects to our trach adapter. And then for our demonstration purpose, this is our lung, this is our, our patient. As you can see, the machine has been set, it is running, it is ventilating. We are achieving a tidal volume of around 400 at this time, and, and that will increase um, with this. It's a little bit slower than, than the norm, but it will increase uh, to ventilate that patient. I'm going to go ahead and, and, and hit my main button here. I'm going to go back just so I can get to my main menu. And to turn it off, I'm going to just push and hold the main button here. It'll beep once, it'll shut the system down. Um, I did that just so obviously we can see how to turn it off, but also so I can disassemble this circuit and show you piece by piece what we have. So bacteria filter. The main limb of the circuit is a six foot circuit. It comes apart here. It has the exhalation port built in. It connects to my HME right here. Then onto my trach flex adapter, and then we're all set and ready to go. Again, BiPAP with AVAPS. Okay, BiPAP with AVAPS uh, with a passive circuit. Now, obviously, we're missing one very vital component, which is the oxygen bleed-in. So, I'm going to put that in line for just for demonstration purposes. At this point, I'm going to put it back here closer to the machine. This is a very uh, movable uh, 
part you can put in line just about anywhere um, but depending on the patient's needs um, you may have to adjust that so right now we have our O2 enrichment adapter with our oxygen supply line tubing here and we are going to hook that up to a standard uh, home concentrator I'll now turn that on I'm going to turn up my flow here a little bit Again, just for demonstration purposes, we're gonna set it at four, four liters per minute. So now we have our oxygen being bled in via an enrichment, adapt enrichment adapter to our BiPAP AVAPS unit, and it is ready to go to be set up on a patient being ventilated invasively.